Hello everybody! Today we're going to see how I draw Common Rider x aid Okay, pencils first and then Sharpies. So if you don't want to watch the pencil portion of the video where I sketch the entire thing out, look in the description and you'll find a link that you can click on that will take you to the Sharpie portion of the video. I'll even include one for color. But for those of you that are going to stick around, I'm going to start off with a quick sketch for myself and get us going. Alright, so like uh, the other common writers, don't know anything about this guy. I'm just trying to find things for you guys to draw, things anybody might be interested in. If no one likes them, I'll end up moving on to something else, but gotta try. You gots to try, everybody. Because you never know. You never know what some people are gonna like. Some people like seeing nothing but clones in the Clone Wars. Some people like other stuff. <laughs> so, uh, you like how vague I was there? Some people like things. Other people like stuff. Um, and, uh, yeah, so I'm just trying to draw, I'm looking up different characters, different things that exist, uh, trying to find something that just about everybody might like, you know? So that's, that's the whole, the fun of it is A, I get to draw everything and B, getting to research all this stuff. So yeah, so anyway, um, in doing that, I think I've talked about it before on the common writers that... You know, I like the original stuff, but I don't know, I'm not familiar with anything past the original. I just kind of fell out of it and had other stuff to look at. And so, I don't know anything about any of these characters. I'm just following what I can find. So, that being said, just being honest that I don't know anything about this one. I mean, hopefully I'm even pronouncing it right, you know? Okay. That looks pretty good for the pose. Let's see. I'm kind of going for like a hero pose. You know, muscles out. Um, um, mus muscles out, uh, exaggerated uh, Japanime pose. And what I mean by that is you know, like, uh, uh, I have, I have a, a preconceived idea of these characters and how they're very dynamic, energetic, and, uh, you know, like I said, big, big Japan anime pose. Wait, is it Japan? No, I don't even know what it is. I don't know. Anyway. Let's see, let me find a good picture of his face. That's the other odd thing to me, is this is a very strange character that it's very toy looking. And I get it, they gotta sell toys, you know, that's what it's about. But this one, and, and you know, I'm wrong, I'm wrong. They're, they're all in a strange toy looking, you know, bug face. But for some reason, this one, I guess it's the eyes, because the eyes are so, just um, cartoonish, plastic, animated? No, not even that. What's the word I'm looking for? Anyway, they're so that. That it just seems very, very toy to me. Like, I, I, this looks like if you were to draw it and make a toy and make an animated show, okay, but it's like it it's they didn't change it for the real live action version I guess that's where I'm going with this is that it still seems to me like it's very animated and that's what's so bizarre uh, it just it's hard for me to wrap my brain around okay so now I'm just adding some extra little details just to make sure I've got it the way I want. And uh, then we'll get going into the Sharpies. Again, there's a lot of detail with the, the, the toy design of his suit. That uh, you're going to 
have to give me a few minutes to catch up. And I, I can't draw everything, obviously. There's just almost too much. All right. Same thing with his belt. It is crazy how much detail of all the little things that are in his belt. I don't know how these toys are supposed to work. Looks to me like there's some sort of handle. I guess that's how you like shoot them off, right? Right? Is it kind of like a um? Oh, what's that one toy? A new little boy who loved him so much when they battle in the, in the arena. Oh my gosh, what is it called? But anyway, yeah, I assume it's like that where you shoot them off and they they uh, they jump to each other and fight and battle bots and. Oh, I can't remember. Anyway, anyway, as I'm saying, I assume that's what most of these toys are like, right? I don't know why I'm talking like you can answer me. No, I'm talking to myself. And I know no one's even watching this. You know, no one watches this portion of the video. That's okay. It just gives me time to talk it out, talk to myself, and decide where I'm going. Okay. Alright. Looking good. So yeah, I'm just adding a little bit of extra detail in here just to make sure I have it correct. Or at least as correct as I can get. Because, like I said, I don't, I don't know this character, or I don't know any of them. You know, I'm gonna be honest. But I'm trying. I'm trying to give you guys something, and that's really what it's about, too, is getting out of your your uh, comfort zone, doing something different. You know, because if not, you you don't grow. You don't grow by doing the same thing over and over again. You you get better, but uh, it's it's best to you know. Get out of your comfort zone. Do something that makes you nervous or that you doubt. And, you know, maybe you don't do it. Maybe you don't get it right. But that's why you keep practicing and trying, you know? That's all you can do. And that's what makes you better. Okay. So I think I'm good enough here. I'm at a good spot. Let me just define a few more little things here so I don't forget stuff. Like that, so yeah, I think that'll work. Let me erase some of these sketch lines and then we'll stick with just the confidence lines and then we'll keep going. All right, and then we've got to welcome everybody that skipped over to this portion of the video. I appreciate anybody watching any portion of the video. And I'm just going to erase the darker lines, I'm sorry, the, the light lines, and leave just a ghost of an image that I could trace over and won't stand out over the Sharpie, because I want the Sharpie to stand out. If you're working with pencil, you stick with the pencil. You just draw darker. Okay? All right, I think that's good. I can see it still. It's a, enough of the images there, and I can work with what I got. So. Welcome skippers, welcome to the Sharpie portion of the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe because I do a drawing every day. You can join along and have some fun. Retape my paper real fast. I'm gonna be working with the Sharpie fine point, the Sharpie pen, mostly the fine point, but the pen's a little finer than the fine point, can find the things that the fine point can't quite find. So, I've sketched the entire thing out. I've erased a majority of it, so I've got a light, light ghost of an image I can trace over that's gonna guide me with where I'm going. So I'm gonna start off with the mask and the face and just build from there. So I'm gonna build the visor and then we're gonna go from there. So I'm just gonna use this drawing that I did, build it out, go out this way, go out this way, go up, up, and then I gotta remember this before I go all the way across, and then I can go across, like that. Now, um, there are 
You know, I could do them all. I could do them all. I was going to say there are features in the eyes, but I want to draw them all because of color. I could do them all. Let's go ahead and just do them all. We're going to draw the big, the big boops like that. Boop. Do another one over here. Boop. Like that. And another one like this. I'm going to thicken that up a little bit just to, just to emphasize that. And all that's going to be black anyway, so I'm just kind of emphasizing where those those colors are going to be. Let me smooth that out a little bit. Okay, I think that's good for the mask, or the visor at least. So now I'm just going to draw the rest of it. And that's why I'm using this single Sharpie, this pen Sharpie, is it's a little finer and I can, I can control the line widths much better. And for the, this mask, I kind of want to. I want to be able to do that. I got to control these little lines. Okay, something like that. Let's go back. And then bring this around for his his hairline. I guess is what we're gonna call it. Top of the visor. Okay. That's connected, and now I've got to draw the the jaw, I guess. All right, how's yours coming out? Awesome. And I'm gonna to start to thicken some of this up too, because when I switch over to this sharpie, it's gonna get super thick. So I kind of want to get ready for how it's gonna look. thicken up these edges. You don't have to if you're working with pencil. I'm just talking about what I'm doing for my end. Oops, I got a little out of control there. That's okay. We'll work with what we got. All right, so let's see. I guess I can go ahead and do the hair uh, with this pen. So let's see, let's go, let's start on this side because it, this is in front technically of everything else, even though it's still gonna kind of, kind of going to come out as we go across. Kind of strange to describe, but just trust me. Okay, so again, I'm gonna thicken up this outer edge. And I got this big one over here like that. Let's see, I got one line gonna be like this then it's gonna come up for this part but reconnect right back here so you gotta you gotta kind of plan what you're gonna draw so you don't draw over itself or other lines you know Plus it helps you to make like a cool little uh, um, thick versus thin outline too. But again, it, it's always good to plan. Planning is great. That way you can do it the way you want. And it comes out the way you want. And especially because you're using Sharpies, you want to plan your attack because this is permanent, you know? We can work around any mistakes we make, but these are permanent. So, all right, switching over to the other Sharpie and get back to the picture I was looking at. I don't have them in this pose. I'm just looking at pictures for details, but this is a pretty good picture that shows me uh, the details of the body or the, the outfit. Okay, so he's got his collar that I'm gonna draw like this and that'll let me draw his neck like that. But this one's coming around this way. Like that. Down to his shoulders. Like this. Same thing over here. Come down. But that's going to be cut off by this shoulder pad because I got it raised up a little bit. But it gives me a place to start. Start stop points. That's what helps in life. Alright. Okay, so for his chest piece here. Let me find the picture I was looking at. It's a good, good descriptor. All right, all right, I think I got it, I think I got it. So, let's see, I'm gonna draw, I need to draw his shoulder pads because they're kind of over a little bit. 
like where um, these are gonna be, the, his chest piece. So I just wanted to make sure, yeah, there we go, that's good. I just wanna make sure that I gave myself enough room uh, to play around with this. So I'm gonna do the outer edge first and then I'll come back and do some details, okay? So I'm gonna do this, come down, bump it like that. And again, I'm kind of doing it planning by my sketch as to where this is gonna go. So that's why I bumped it a few places for seams in the material kind of thing. Um, we'll do the same thing over here. We're going to bring it over to his, his armpit, basically. So I'm gonna come down, do something like that. So I can come across, do something like that. And, oh, that seems already there, so I don't have to worry about that. Okay, so I'm gonna add Let's see, should I do it with this one? Let's try it with this Sharpie. You know what, let me let me close this off for you real fast, just so you have those edges. We're not just floating. Okay, so I'm gonna do it with this Sharpie just to add like a different texture technique or, or thin, thick inking technique and give us a little bit of a different look. I'm just playing around with the thickness and also with the look of their design. I got a little thicker here and I try to make that work. So something like that. But see how this line is, is thinner than that? You get kind of a cool little uh, um, uh, variation in lines and it just helps come up with like a cool look to the, uh, the whole thing. And, and breaks it up a little bit, you know, gives you a, a nice, nice style. Clean up some of that that I messed up real fast. And let's see, I'm gonna do this chest piece, which is a circle. And look, mine's not a perfect circle, so that's okay if yours isn't either. Don't worry about stuff like that. If you're getting paid to do this, sure, get it right. If someone wants it specifically, do it right. But just for us, no. Just having fun. We're just drawing. Who cares if it comes out perfect? No one's gonna look at it and say, hey, that's wrong. That's not right. And if they do, okay. No big deal. Let them think what they want. Okay. Now, there are little details inside there, but I think I want to do it with color. So I'm gonna keep going with this. Alright, so now I can draw his arms because I have start stop points and I can draw the rest of his outfit. So I'm gonna come this way and he's got like these these uh, flared out um, sleeve ends. So I'm gonna do the same thing here. I'm just gonna go ahead and, you know what I'm gonna do too? Is I'm gonna add some some uh, some creases. Because that's uh, flexible material there. Not armor, like these edges. This is his uh, cloth, I guess, if that's what you wanna call it. Okay. So, um, from here on, we're gonna do the sleeves, which is basically his bicep right there. And he's got armor on the underside, right? So, I'm gonna do it like he's got an elbow piece, kinda like his legs, you'll see in a second. There's an extra elbow piece, something like this, and then an arm piece. I'm gonna go ahead and draw them first so we don't draw through them. Something like that. And now I can draw the rest of the arms. So, that way I can draw the underside there like that so see I wanted that above this part so that's why I wanted to draw it first okay so same thing just like that part of his sleeve he's got a big old cuff like that so now I can draw the rest of his arm coming in like this and again it's cloth so I'm gonna add just a little bit of extra crease you know something like that to show that it's it's a uh, material okay so let's keep going work on this hand and I've got him just holding fists up so not nothing too crazy we're just gonna draw basically his, his hands and then draw the knuckles in like this there's the pinky and uh, his thumb is in front so I gotta go ahead and draw that first like that and I'll add some detail in a second I'm just gonna draw the part of the fingers you can see and then I'll come back in here I know it looks weird but hang on we're not done yet I'm gonna Add the other part of the hand, some creases, and that will define a few more little parts for the thumb, like that. See, 
it, it worked, it worked, don't worry. And he's got um, some armor on the back here, which goes through his hand like that, or where, where it's uh, attached to his, his glove. Okay, so now we're gonna do this armor over here. It's that simple, just like we did over there. We're gonna do, I'm gonna do the armor part first, just because I'm, I'm following my sketch. I know where it goes. I'm not just throwing it out there willy or nilly. So, you know, like I said, it's good to plan. It lets you do stuff like this where you can just start drawing because you already know what you're gonna do. All right. Okay, so again, see, I just want to add a little bit of crease, a little bit of, of, of oomph to uh, make it, um, what do you call it, uh, material, you know, give it that, that, that uh, little bit of a, of a style. Okay, so same thing, this one you're going to see more of the back of the hand, so this one's going and, oh, and so that means we can also draw the uh, armor piece. So I'm going to go ahead and do something like this. There's that little piece that wraps around that we're talking about there. So for the back of the hand, it's that right there. And again, the knuckle of the pinky is gonna wrap around, but that's all you're really gonna see because the rest of the fingers are kind of back behind this. You know, you can't really see much. The thumb's back behind it, everything. So we're pretty much done with that hand. There's not much else we can really do. There's a little bit of like tech bumps on it like that. We can do this, but that, that's about it. That's all we gotta do. All right. All right, so now we're gonna go down here and we're gonna work, basically this is just an outfit, just like material like we're talking about. So I'm gonna draw some creased up material like this to the belt and here's where it's gonna get crazy because I don't know what this is. I don't know anything about this toy. I know how it looks. I know what I'm looking at, but I don't know what it does. So I'm just gonna kind of draw what I think I see and and bear with me because I don't know it. Okay. And, and it's not going to be 100% accurate. It's going to be what I can try to figure out. Because in the grand scheme of things, I'm just drawing uh, figures or, or people and things that you might like. And this is one of them. So very unfamiliar. I apologize. But it's cool, you know, I like this stuff. That's that's the nice thing. And I talked about this in the in the sketch phase is that you should always try different stuff, you know, try things that are, that are you're not used to and that's what I wanted to do with this. It's like, you know, I don't know anything about this character, but he looks cool. And I like drawing stuff, so why not? Why not draw something a little different, you know? See see where it takes me. And and I know enough about Kamen Rider that I, I get that it's superhero stuff and some of it's toy-based. So, you know, it, it's understandable that some stuff you don't know, you don't want to do, but why not? Try it. What's it going to hurt? Okay. Okay. So there it is. I'm just gonna attach a few things that I have here. They're just kind of floating. Okay. And I want to bend some of this material because that's what it is. It's cloth, you know. All right. So now we just got pretty much legs. That's all we got to do. And it's like I was talking about, it's cloth to uh, like his arms, little uh, booties and um, cuffs. So this cuff is going over this leg like this, raised right there, going across. This is going to come up to his crotch. That's where it's going to go to the other leg. Draw that cuff, raised, go across. Go on this side like that. Now he's got, his pants stretched out because he's all uh, uh, spreading his legs like that so we can draw some creases and folds into his cloth.
just do it. Make it come alive, you know, make it make it our own. There we go. All right, so this is what I was talking about that's like this. Basically, it's like these metal pieces on top of the, the, the outfit. So I'm gonna draw the back of his leg just to guide us to the pants, or to the shoes right there. And so this front one, I'm gonna come down, but then I'm gonna do like I did there. I'm gonna draw the armor things in front and add some detail with the smaller Sharpie just to give it a, a uh, like I said, a thick, thin contrast to make it interesting. Okay, and there's his knee to this next part. So I'm gonna go ahead and just draw it out like that. Connect it, again, come back and add a little finesse. Some detail. And there we go, again, it's cloth, so I'll go ahead and add just a little bit of crease. And we'll do the shoes together at some point, but uh, at some point at the end. But let's let's get to them. Let's get to the legs. So I'm gonna draw this piece right here, which is this is on the edge. This is more in the middle because of the way his leg is bent. So we're just gonna kind of come down here and do this. Again, come back with the thinner sharpie. And if you're working with pencil, you don't have to do this. Like I said, and if you don't have both sharpies, you don't have to do this. I'm just doing it because I can. I've got both sharpies. I might as well have a little fun and give myself some uh, stylistic looks. Okay, so there's going to his knee. I've got his leg just stretched out this way. So now I'm gonna draw this one like we did there. Like this. Go to the leg like that. Draw that little gappity boop like that. Boop. Something like this. And finish out the leg. So like that, because it's kind of floating, we can actually draw parts of the leg we can't see into the shoe. All right, so here we go. So he's got very stylized shoes. So we're gonna draw the big old huge tongue that's out like that. Like, like his leg parts, he's got the cuff that goes in like that. The back of the shoe, uh, let's see, let's draw the top this is going to come around connect there this goes down to the bottom like that and add the little bumps like that there's a diamond I guess not even a diamond huh that's a triangle I don't know my shapes that's okay I can I can fake it I can make it look like it's supposed to I can, I can pretend that I know what I'm doing. Okay, so now we're gonna do the same thing over here. We're just gonna draw the big old tongue coming down, top of the shoe. I'm gonna draw that uh, inside like that. Come down. Like this, I'm gonna draw that extra part those little bumps bump 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 and bump and there you go i say we take care of the rest with color so that is common rider x guide there you go i'd say we take care of the rest with color so that is common rider x aid so here is my colored version. You could do it however you like. I just thought I'd show you how I decided to color it. If you'd like to color it like this, you can always pause the video here and use the coloring techniques that I used, or you can just make it your own. Remember, this is how I draw. You draw how you draw. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe for more adventures of how I draw. Plus, don't forget to hit that notification button to be updated about each new video.